Hey, the guys fucking go! Big Hollywood in the granny! Fuck off, pies! One final thing, boy. Am I not gonna get any better unless I got one of your numbers? What do you think? Oh, God. <laughs> the Lambros are back for another game day vlog. Who would have thought the Blues are playing in a semi-final at the G in front of 100,000 people? Look, 10 weeks ago, I remember at that Essendon game, supporters were giving it to Vossi as he came off the ground, the players. Look where we are today. What are your predictions for tonight, Steph? Well, I'm gonna go the Blues by 17. And I hope I'm right. Although I really hope you're right as well. But I do think it's gonna be a tie one. I think both teams have a really good back line, but I feel like we're gonna get over the line. What about you? I'm gonna go the Blues by a point. That is gonna, if we win by a point, I'm not sleeping for another week. We just had the march as well with Goring. So I can put some footage up right now with that. I'll make my way to the front and in a minute 30, we'll start walking. <laughs> And mate, how good is this MCG looking right now? It looks like we're photoshopped the ground behind us. This is legit, guys. This is actually legit right now. Best time of the year, footy finals. If you go for Carlton, I love you to death. And if you don't, comment who you go for and who you think is going to win this year's premiership. Now, Steph, do you think you are likely tonight to lose your voice? Oh, I would say 80% confident. Unless these were five into us in the first quarter. Still then, I'll probably lose my voice, but I'll lose a bit more interest on the game. So, yeah, I'm losing my voice. This is arguably one of the hottest starts to a final I've ever seen. The crowd is going absolutely nuts. It just seems right here. Well, I just can't believe it. Motlop just turned the ball over in the middle of the ground. So poor. Jack Martin should be playing instead of him, but Jack Martin got reported. Couldn't believe that. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. We haven't started the best. What are your thoughts? Mate, my quarter's all through the roof. We have not started well, like you said. Just turnovers more so. Like, like our forward entries are really poor, and Lever's just getting in the hole, and he's just chopping off everything. Like, Cottrell's running around with Lever. Lever's literally got, like, that much height on him. Bro, what is he supposed to do? And Melbourne looks so dangerous in the turnover, and we're just giving it back to him consistently, so... Look him up! Come on, Terry, please. I've lost my voice already almost. What a first quarter of football. The Blues banged on two late goals. So the Ds are up by seven points at the moment. And mate, it is bloody tight around the contest, isn't it? Oh, is it ever? I feel like early on, we're just turning the ball over. I'm giving it back to him. Three early goals. The Colton crowd was just giving nothing. The old man next to me is doing me absolute head in. Just so negative. But the baggers, we got ourselves back in the game. Kicked two late ones. Come on! Let's go! 
put it through the heart, you know, Charlie. Tell you what, his first half absolutely had it. Everything it's been insane. The Blues at the start of the second were red hot, but the last ten minutes, Melbourne have stemmed the momentum, and at the moment they're just winning the territory battle. And Maxi Gorn, he is dominating at the moment. The around the ground stoppages, it's just so dangerous. All right, Locke, can you tell us why we're outside at the moment? We are that stressed, like genuinely cannot stay in the ground. Like, oh, I don't know where our heads are at right now, but we are that nervous and stressed. Mate, how are you feeling? Yeah, I needed this fresh air at halftime. I tell you what, that place at the moment is madness. Mate, it is absolutely electrifying in there. I think the Blues are up by two points at halftime. Like, the game really is 50-50. It could go in anyone's favour. But at the very end of that quarter, Weedering kind of hurt his knee. I hope he's all right. And Doherty hurt his shoulder. So if Doherty and Weedering are both out, Man, this is going to be bloody tough. What's your honest predictions? Do you think we're going to win this game? Bro, I'm going to say yes because I have faith and I'm trying to be as positive as possible. I'm going to say yes and I'm going to stick with my one point prediction. What do you say? I'm going to stick with my 17. Okay. Well, I think since that first 10 minutes, they had the momentum, but since then it's shifted in our terms. So let's just hope we can hold on. Mate, and just uh, FYI, guys, I reckon we've literally lost like three years off our life standing out here right now. The secondhand smoke, look at it. That's literally secondhand smoke. Everyone is smoking out here. Disgusting. Don't smoke, ladies and gentlemen. Save your lungs. If you want to optimize your physical performance, nah, it's no good. It's just not it, is it? It's not a result. I don't know why you'd ever pick up a dart and smoke. It's just absolutely putrid behavior. If you're feeling anxious, maybe try some breath work or just get in the fresh air like we are at half time. Come on, Blakey! Come on! Let's go! Good boy, Blakey! Three quarter time. The Blues started that quarter very well, Locke, but tell us what happened there. Oh, the D's came home late. The D's are currently up now by a goal. Maxi Gorn missed the goal from like 30 metres out directly in front, which actually helps us out so much. Look, it's just so tight, this game. It, it's really goal for goal. They managed to kick that last one, but man, I don't know what's going to happen. What are your thoughts? Well, I think every minute of this game is taking a year off my life. Yeah, well, I think you can see on our faces, man. We are sweating, stressed. Like, it's like 20 degrees hotter up here as well. We're literally in the nosebleed section up here. It's just insane. 30 minutes away from a possible prelim. 30 oh, minutes away. Oh, that is...
five seconds to go there. Come on, Blue. The middle. We're three points Look up. Get this should be unbelievable. Get up, Blue. Go get it out of bounds. No. next week. Yes, we've got the fucking Lions. Fuck them off. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> the Gabba. <laughs> Marching on in September. Baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> See Collingwood in the granny. <laughs> Fuck off, pies. <laughs> Here we go. Mate, how are you feeling with five minutes to go? Feeling good. Melbourne, bunch of plastics, wankers. Come the fucking baggers. What do you reckon about the Lions? The Lions? Yeah, we're coming for them. Week is pissed. We'll sort them out. 21 points. Book it. We'll see you back here in the granny. Let's go, Blue Boys. I'll tell you what, I've had the greatest night of my life. Colton's into the prelim. This night can only get better. This night can only get better one way. And that's a result. See if I can get another year. Let's go. Did you still have the belief in the last five minutes that we could win that? Honestly, like, not really, but like. I yeah. knew we'd pull through at some point. Something magical was going to happen, Blake and it fucking, fucking did. Oh. Let's go, Black Acres! How good was that Acres goal? The crowd absolutely erupted. I've never seen a crowd so rowdy. How did you feel? Like, I felt... My soul, like, actually left my body. Same. Like, was, we're from Perth. Oh, really? We you? came. So, we came for this game, and we were like, oh, my God. Like, they're going to lose, and we are like, <gasps> Go Blake! Alright, one final thing for you. Am I not going to get any better unless I got one of your numbers? What do you think? Oh god. <laughs> what a win by the Blue Boys. We are losing our voices again. That was insane. Mate, my voice is gone. That is one of the greatest nights of my life. I've never experienced anything like that. The atmosphere out the front of the ground is wild. The MCG is literally popping off right now. Mate, 24 years of heartache for me for that one moment of just... Mate, that was just unbelievable. I've never seen the Colton supporters go nuts like that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching as I always. can't even put two words together, like the yeah. adrenaline pumping through now. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep. No, we're not sleeping tonight. It's just, mate, what a wild ride. What a wild ride of emotions, like, just um, the best game ever. We might have to see the fans in Brisbane next week. You never know. You never know. Let us know if you want us to fly out to Brisbane to see you at the game. Yeah, drop a comment if you want to see that because 
The baggers are in a prelim. Let's go. Yeah, we are. Live your best life, boys. Let's go. We've been playing against the prelim.